Hello everyone. So in this particular video we are going to understand about the for each activity and this is one of the most important topic which we should know. Okay so let us try to understand what is this for each activity. So for each activity is similar to the for loop which we use in a programming language. So if we want to iterate okay so in that kind of the purpose we generally use a for each activity i have one of the example based on the example we'll try to create a pipeline and we'll try to understand the for each activity so let us try to understand okay so suppose you have one of the container in a storage account so suppose this is your storage account in this storage account this is your container and the container name is input container this is your input container under this container you have a multiple file one two three four and multiple file you have okay what is your task is you want your task is to move this particular file from this particular container to the output container okay so what is our first task our first task is like we should know what are the file and how many files which is available into this input container so for that we should know the metadata information so how actually we can get the metadata information we have one more activity that is a get metadata activity get metadata activity this activity will tell you what are the file which is available into this particular container so we will be having all the information like how many files are there and what are the file which is available once we get all the information about the file what actually we will do we will try to pick one by one each file and with the help of the for each activity we will try to iterate it and we will try to copy into this particular container so that is our task for each we will use to iterate all the files which is available into the input container and we will use a copy activity here and we will try to move into the output container i hope you got idea for iterating purpose we generally use a for each activity okay now let us try to do a practical so that we will get more idea let me open so I will show you okay so this is my storage account in output container if I will show you I don't have any file okay this output container is empty this is our target location now if I will go to the input container in input container I have a multiple file one employee one employee one one employee two employee one like this I have a multiple file one two three four five six okay so our pipeline should know like what are the file which is there okay so for that we are going to create a pipeline and we have to copy that data into output container also okay so let me open my data factory studio let me try to create a new pipeline here we'll try to create a new pipeline what is our first task our first task is to know what are the file which is available into that particular container right so how actually we can know we can know with the help of this get metadata activity so I'll try to pick the get metadata. Okay. Okay. Now we have get metadata. Okay. I'll go to the setting. Okay. First we should create a data set. Our file is available in a blob storage. So I'll select the blob storage. Continue. File is available in a CSV format. So I'll select that. Link service will try to create. News link service. Try to select the storage account I will try to click on the create ok ok and here we will only select the input folder we are not going to select any file we are going to select only the input container ok I will click on the ok and I will select the first row as header and click on the ok ok so this is what we have okay now after that what we have to do we have to click on this field list okay in this field list if you click you will get all this item what is our task is our task is to know what are the file which is there into the particular container right so for that we want to know the child item so I will select the child item okay so this is what we have to do in a get metadata right we have what we have done we have created a data set and we have selected the child item from the field list okay once i will run i will get the info about what are the files which is there okay i'll click on the validate there is no issue click on the debug 
okay let us try to see what is the output you can see it is succeed my point if I want to see the output you can see in the child item we are getting in a JSON format name of the every file employee 1 employee 1 1 employee a2 employee 1 employee 1 like this all the file we are getting under the child item in the form of the JSON okay so we are getting the all the information about our file now our second task is to use the for each okay now our second task is to use the for each so what actually we will do we will try to use a for each activity okay so I will try to search a for each in a search activity for each you can see iteration and conditional we have for each so I will try to click and drag it here okay now what we have to do we have to click here from the gate metadata only we want to take the file right so I have just connected this get metadata to the for each now I will click on the for each okay and the name if you want you can give go to the setting okay sequentially uh, sequentially we want to do right now after that we have to select the item okay so what is the item item is nothing but we want to take a file from here right so that actually we want to select it from the add dynamic content so click on the add dynamic content okay now here if you will see you are getting the output get metadata activity output okay and these are the and you can see we have a get metadata child item okay so I will select this get metadata child item this is what we actually want right so click on the ok okay so this is our for each is ready now what we have to do we have to apply a activity here click go to the activity or you can click here plus also what is the activity we want to perform we want to perform a copy activity so I will select the copy activity click the copy activity once you will click on the copy activity we have to select our source so what is our source so for that we have to create a our source location our source is the blob stress I will select that continue in a CSE format it is there I will select that link service I will use the same link service and first row as header okay so this is what I have selected uh, our file is available in input container okay uh, so this is what we have selected and I will try to click on the ok I haven't selected any file path as of now okay so I will give that uh, okay the link service we have selected file path and the first row has header I will just remove it click on the ok okay we have to select the schema as a none okay click on the ok okay so now in this particular source right so previously we were what actually we were giving we were selecting the file path in a data set right now we have to select the wild card file path okay what is our folder path our folder path is input container right and in star we are actually trying to get all the file from the for each activity so I will select the for each okay so what we have to do we have to select the wildcard part we have to give our uh, container and we are actually using the for each activity so I have selected the for each okay now our source is now ready now go to the sink where actually we want to store so we will select the blob storage we want to store into a output container so I will select the link service the same kind of the link service I want to store into the output container so I will give output container ok first row as header click on the ok ok once this all are ready click on the validate container is required copy data one container is required so I will go to the copy data you can see in a source we have given this path so let me delete this first ok and this output also we need to delete ok so what is the data set we have a delimited text to this is the data set right I will click ok and here I will pass what is my input container ok so what is my source location input so I will click here and if I will try to preview it I will be able to see our data so you can see all the data you can see right 
now what we have to do we have to go to the pipeline okay we have to go select the wildcard part you can see input is already coming now here we have to select wildcard file name okay the file name will come from a for each activity dot item dot name this is what the name actually we will try to give click on the ok ok if we, if we will preview it the value it will get passed automatically ok dot name only we have to give now we will try to publish it and we will try to run it one by one and we will try to run ok when we will run it should be able to transfer all the data ok let's wait it to be completed if any error we will try to debug it ok what we have done uh, we in a source we have selected the wildcard path we have given input container at the other item dot name this is coming from the for each activity ok now let us try to run at trigger trigger now click on the ok go to the monitor and here we will try to monitor you can see it is in progress so we will wait it to be completed ok or if any error so it will throw error like a failed so we will wait for that now if you will see our pipeline is succeed now I will go to the output container I will refresh the data should be available here all the file you can see we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 all the file got copied here so that is how actually we can use a uh, for each activity 